What's up guys, it's Kylie for Complex Hustle and I'm joined here with Kamaya. How are you doing? I'm great, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm awesome. So I want to talk to you about the real hustle behind your career. How did you get to where you are today? Uh, hard work, determination, and drive. I just stayed focused, like no matter what could have deterred me or what could have stopped me, I knew that this was the main goal and objective, so I didn't let anything block that. So it was just the drive. When you made that decision, what was the first steps that you took? I mean, I guess writing and then recording, because that's like the hardest step to actually write your own music. And then from there, I was just like, okay, I can do this, so I'm not gonna stop, because clearly I have a talent for this and that for this. Mm -hmm. And now it's like second nature. It doesn't take me too long to do it because I believe so hard. Mm -hmm. And obviously you work really close with YG. He's basically deemed you like the next up and coming hip hop artist. What is it like working with him? I mean, it's just like my brother, <laughs> you know? <laughs> we had the same management, so we just like kick it. He tried to like tell me just to stay authentic to myself and just grow from that and de develop the craft and lane. I'm very business oriented, so they don't try to step in the way of my craft. They just tell me to stay authentic to me and just do what feels right to me and don't stop. Like That's what I get from everybody, so he don't really tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Pretty much, you know, my newbie. You know, just, yeah. What would you say is the most challenging aspect of the music industry? I feel like being an artist now is different from being an artist in like the 90s because if you allow it to get to you, social media is always an outlet you can go view and see what people actually feel about you. Versus the 90s, it was just table talk. And then like, if you are not strong-willed and determined and know what is your destiny, you will let that deter you from your goal or alter your personality. And I feel like that's the biggest challenge for every artist nowadays is not letting the machine of social media break you. Because we are literally the guinea pig era of social media. Like it has not been done before. <laughs> We're living through it. This is a testament. So if you're not strong-willed and are true to yourself, you will become a follower or whatever it is they're trying to, you know what I'm saying, sway you from being. It gets to a point where, like, once you get to a certain stature, you know, like, I can't look at my Instagram comments or Twitter comments, YouTube comments, because it's like, it are, there's people literally there just purposely try to, like, break your spirit. Like, what's going on now? And, you know, it takes a lot for an artist to not focus on that because it's like, okay, we still learning just like everybody else. Like, okay, I ain't got to look at this, but it's like, if it's there, how can you not look? Like, this is my craft. This is what I believe in. So I'm not supposed to look at what my fans, like the people who genuinely care about me, think about me. Like, it's weird you're confident in who you are and own all your flaws and know like okay in the morning my I might be a little cock you know what i'm saying like mm -hmm. stuff like that like when they said you like ha, yeah i know like it ain't gonna affect you versus somebody actually noticing your insecurities that only you deal with personally you know what i'm saying hey how's it going it's your girl kamaya shout out to complex hustle powered by Sarah. let's get it